What's good people and we are back again for another year of NBA 2K tutorials and starting out I'm going to be going over with you our dribble guide to help you out on the court. Discussing the changes, what to look for against your defender and how to beat them in NBA 2K24. And if you like the content we provide make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything we put out. Alright people I'm Chris from Sports Gamers Online and alright let's get it. You always want to keep speaking more so for human defenders off balance. The idea is you want them to constantly be reacting to moves that you're not currently doing, staying one step ahead. Whether it be from faking like you're going to do it and not, or doing it, knowing how they're going to react to it, and already moving on to your next move while they're adjusting to your last one, staying one step ahead. And it's this sweet spot you want to live in, not countering so fast to the point where the defender is barely reacting to your first move and also not waiting so long to counter that they can react to both. Like defending somebody and they drive right and you're bodying them up yet they're still trying to force it. Which gives you enough time to be like he's probably going to try and go the other way now and when they do they're stoned again and wondering why they can't move. You want to counter before the defender starts to think of all the other options you have and adjust accordingly. One reason to step back and drive or cross the other way is so potent. Opponent can't help it, they're gonna instinctually chase you back out to where you step back to. If you wait too long, they can think, wait, is this a trap? And not sprint out as fast. If you wait right when they're initially reacting to it, you can blow right by them while they're still leaving the paint before they get to thinking it's a trap. Do it too fast and you run right into them while they're still in the paint, just registering the fact that you step back. Now there's another tip to effectively combine your dribbling into successful drives. And we're going to do that by knowing our target that we need to get to before our defender does, which is the free throw line and the low block to the elbow if you're coming from the sides. Get here before your defender does and you're good to trigger animations majority of the time. And to counter if it looks like the defender is going to get there before you do. So first, let's talk about the moves we have at our disposal to successfully pull everything off. First, let's go over Sprint. Sprint makes you go faster at the loss of stamina. A situation where you see Sprint used a lot is attacking baseline, trying to loop around everybody as fast as you can. And the Sprint down the court, you hold the right trigger the whole time while aiming the left stick in any direction. There's no such thing as going too early to use a Sprint down the court, especially if your opponent doesn't notice you're doing so and try to cut you off. But this does open up counters for you trying to drive as hard as you can. Now when you're in a full sprint and you can see the back of the on ball defender's number is when you fully got them and they're exposed to you changing directions and or stopping on a dime for a jumper. You can also be more conservative in your sprint usage and wait until you're about even with the defender to then activate sprint and catch them off guard. One small note I will say using sprint is, and it will generally carry over no matter what you do, is watch where you're going when you're moving up the court. After a missed shot is when turnovers can get a little crazy because you want to get down the court ASAP, but you just want to make sure you're moving into space and not out of it. And in the half court, letting off of the right trigger, you can gain a quick speed burst by simply tapping the right trigger button while on the move. So this can be utilized closer to the rim in isolation or pick and roll game to get by the last line of defense or your primary defender. Next, let's get into the crossover. This is the best when the defender is about to block off your path. And to perform it, you flick the right stick directly up and to the side you do not have the ball in. So if the ball is in the right, aim the right stick up and to the left and vice versa. And it doesn't matter if you're holding turbo or not. This move is like etched in stone of one of the ways to get defenders leaning when they try and cut you off. You just want to make sure you have enough room to cross back over so make sure there's a bit of space between you and the defender or else the ball will bounce off their body. You don't want that because you are dribbling in front of you after all. One utilization of this move is to pull it off when the defenders are coming at you from an angle trying to attack your ball hand. You want to time it so the defender is almost in front of you so you can change directions and blow by him with ease. Just make sure you're re-aiming your left stick in the direction you want to cross towards or else you will still dribble towards the side you're aiming. It won't redirect you on its own. Another way to perform this is when you're moving sideways. This causes your player to cross over and stop in place. Where you can see if you're open for a shot or completely left your defender in the dust to drive. 
Now let's talk about the Between the Lakes Cross. This move is amazing and effective because you can quickly change directions and break free from defenders who are trying to cut you off or seriously bodying you up when driving. This can create a lot of space doing so while keeping the ball protected. This move doesn't cover as much ground as let's say a crossover, but again does offer an excellent way to get by defenders with the quick sharp cut you create. And you attempt this by flicking the right stick directly to the left if the ball is in your right hand and to the right if the ball is in your left. Because of its quick sharp movement, you can use this as close to the defender as possible. Now we got the behind the back dribble. You're mostly going to be using the regular behind the back while on the move. This protects the ball the best obviously from defenders while eating up space to attack. And to perform a behind the back dribble, you move the right stick down and to the left if the ball is in your right hand and down and to the right if the ball is in your left. This move is great to quickly change directions in a hurry. Just make sure you're aiming the left stick towards the rim when you do it. Don't be shy to heavily utilize the behind the back move in NBA 2K24. Next is the hesitation dribble. This is a move whose purpose is to get the defender to overrun you by you slowing down. Slow down themselves so you can end up running right by them or freeze so you can nail a jumper in their face from the space you created. And to pull it off, you flick the right stick directly to the right if the ball is in your right hand and to the left if the ball is in your left. While moving, it doesn't matter if you hold turbo or not. Standing still, you wanna let go of it. One utilization of this move is moving sideways. Holding turbo, you can then give yourself a split second to see what the defender is doing and react off of it, aiming the left stick in the desired direction. Now new this year, we got the breakdown dribbles, which are two versions of it. There's the regular breakdown dribble, which you pull off by simply flicking the right stick up. And then there's the aggressive breakdown dribble, which adds a bit more movement to it, which you pull off by holding the right trigger first and then flick up on the right stick again. These are used to trigger size up combos that can help you free yourself from the defender or give you windows to open up other stuff due to the reaction of the defender. Now we got the step back. You use this to create space from the defenders that are all in your face and or create better angles for you to attack from a standstill position. If you're facing a human opponent, just a simple step back may cause their user to mess up contain and you can blow right by them using this simple move and changing the angle they have on you. And to perform a step back, all you have to do is flick the right stick down and you can hold turbo or not. And be prepared to immediately attack if the lane is open after you step back by aiming the left stick in the direction you want as soon as the animation is almost over. Performing the step back controls while on the move performs a snatch back, which like I mentioned earlier, this works when you see the back of the defender's number and they're fully committed to stopping you driving. Next, let's go over the spin move, which is really good this year against humans and the computer. The spin helps you break free against a defender completely walling you off while driving or trying to cut you off coming up the court. And to do it, you want to rotate the right stick from your ball hand side and swing it around the bottom to the other side and let go. So you want to make sure you're starting on your ball hand side and you're aiming the left stick towards the rim while doing so. Now you can mix it up and perform the spin motion with the right stick swinging the right stick around the bottom, but instead aim the left stick down and he will start the spin animation, but then will retreat backwards. This can help open up the actual spin against the human opponent and catch them off guard when you pull off this one and you might even get an open shot. You can also spin the same way you're driving by starting your spin to your off ball hand side. So if the ball is in your right hand, start the motion by aiming directly to the left and then swing the right stick around the bottom to your right and you will spin in the direction you initially were driving. You can get a one-two crossover combo going by flicking the right stick to your off ball hand and back to your ball hand. While this animation is triggering, it's your time to see if there's an opening against the defender and for you to attack with your left stick. Flicking it back and forth at different speeds gives you different animations as well. You don't want to start slow. It's regular speed and then super fast with your right stick motions. And to create a chain, you flick the right stick repeatedly back and forth. Rule of thumb, flicking the right stick back and forth twice, four times, six times will always land a ball back in your original hand. 
Flicking it back and forth three or five times quickly will end it in your off ball hand. So evens end in your ball hand and odds end in your off ball hand. So you can plan accordingly based on what the defender is doing and knowing when your animation is going to end. Here's how chaining the moves together can remove some of the thinking and just have you focus on what to do next by the defender's reaction. I flicked the right stick back and forth three times so the ball is going to end in his off ball hand. So his left. So knowing that, I'm prepared to counter. Gaining the advantage, I can initially drive, ignore the space and I just run whatever and play now. But I know obviously he's going to overcorrect to my sudden advantage and the right side is going to open up. This Jalen Brown clip is me canceling the sequence once the defender gave me what I wanted and moved out the way. I did a four move combo, which means the ball is going to end up back in my current hand. Saw Zing is getting closer and knowing I was going to finish on that side, I drove into the paint on the third dribble and you see the defender jump to the right as well thinking I was going that way. Next, let's talk about the in and out dribble. Its purpose is to act like you're going to bring the ball back the other way to get the defender to slide over while you continue going your original way to drive into the paint. So you can utilize this move against a human defender who has every reason to think you're gonna go in one direction and the in and out dribble can sell that dream to them and give you space to drive. Or you can combine it with something like a screen towards your off ball hand side for instance. And to perform it in and out, you wanna let go of sprint if you're holding it, then flick the right stick up and towards the right if the ball is in your right hand and up and to the left if the ball is in your left. So aim towards the side you have the ball on. This move actually works against humans and computer this year as the computer is nice and actually bites on it. Now new to NBA 2K24 is the blowout dribble, which you activate by double tapping the right trigger on your controller in the backcourt, and the ball handler will throw the ball ahead of them, gaining a speed boost. And just hold the right trigger on the second tap to continue sprinting after you do it. Next is the half spin, whose sole purpose is to be a counter after you have given your opponent a heavy dose of spin moves, and if you feel like pulling off a half spin. And to activate this move, you rotate the right stick from your ball hand side to the top of the controller. So if the ball's in your right hand, start directly to the right and swing the stick to the top. And if it's in your left, start left and do the same. Next, let's talk about the hesitation escape which aims to create space for yourself laterally and gives you a window to drive and depending on how human opponents react, shoot. Now to perform this, it's the same as the hesitation which is flicking the right stick directly to the left or right of whichever hand you currently have the ball in. Only this time you're holding the right trigger while doing it to add more movement into the move. Take LeBron's hesitation escape for instance, he's literally about to drive doing his. And all you have to do is push the left stick in your desired direction to finish it off, as his animation is doing about 75% of the work. Or you got KDs who gallops halfway across the court with his. Guys with the dramatic hezzy escapes can get you around pick and rolls instantly, or in ISO situations create instant space for drives and counters for shots by the defender's reaction. Now to perform an escape crossover which you pull off from a standstill position, you hold the right trigger and aim the right stick directly to your non-ball hand side. So directly to the left or to the right. Being an escape dribble, this can open up a drive opportunity when you pull this move off or create space laterally against your defender rocking back and forth. If you flick the right stick twice and then using the left stick to explode to your desired side. Now we got the behind the back escape dribble. You can use this from a standstill position. This is great because you're able to literally blow by a defender while standing still. And to pull it off, you hold the right trigger on your controller and move the right stick down and to the left if the ball's in your right and down and to the right if it's in your left. You can bait defenders in the screens moving one way knowing you have the behind the back escape dribble in your back pocket to quickly go the other way at a moment's notice. So you can see how that is tough to defend and commit too hard knowing this. Just make sure as the ball handler to let go of the left stick quickly before you attempt it. Now if your defender is snatching your cookies with ease or there's a real chance they will, you want to hold the left trigger button on your controller to get into a protect ball stance to hold off the defenders from ripping you and force them to go around your body. Now to perform a sham guide, while on the move you want to hold turbo, then flick the right stick to your right if you have the ball in your right hand and vice versa. And then in quick succession, move the right stick up and to your left to pull off the move. 
So with that, let me know down below what's your favorite move to pull off in NBA 2K24. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K24 content. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. All right, people, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching and be good, y'all.